Hi guys. That was lower than normal. <laughs> Some of you may be debating right now that I'm making this video a wee bit too early, but in my defence, no. That wasn't a very good defence, but no. There's never such thing as being too prepared and too on the ball for school. Hmm, <laughs> that rhymes. I'm a poet and I didn't even know I was. And also I know that American schools are opening again very shortly and the British feel like they haven't even broken up yet. I hear that America go back to school considerably earlier than we do. There's no such thing as being too prepared. Speaking of America, I know that American schools and my type of schools, which is British schools, I don't go anymore but still they're my schools because I'm from Britain, okay, are very much different. You have a lot of different rules, a lot of different types of things you do and a lot of different words you call things and a lot of different ways your school works. So this video is going to be very flexible and I'm going to try and help the majority of you so I don't have to go into specifics. And obviously you can't talk about school on YouTube without wearing the generic glasses. The glasses which in fact are too big for absolutely everyone's heads and the glasses you get from the cinema and think I'm gonna be a cool kid and I'm gonna poke out the lenses because I'm stupid and I think that will make me cool. That isn't what I did, what are you talking about? I mean like, I just found these on the floor. So I'm going to be giving you some quick little tips on how to mentally prepare yourself for school. I rarely get requests to do videos which aren't things to do with hair and makeup, so when I got this request to do this type of video, I'm, I was on it, like a car bonnet. And I hope it helps some of you. If it doesn't help some of you and it's more annoying than helpful, then I'm sorry, okay? I'm just trying to help, okay? Let's, let's get going then, shall we? Welcome to your high school survival guide. I would just like to let you know that the exits are nowhere. You cannot escape high school. High school, to me, was somewhere that had the best times of my life and the worst. So just know that it balances out at the end of the day. It really does. I think maybe the best times outbalance the worst, but still, I'm just saying, okay? Step one to survive high school, calm down. This may seem very silly. You may not be anywhere near as calm as a cucumber, but you're gonna have to try and get at least as calm as a pickle. As you get older, as you grow, you are told so many things about high school. You see it in films, you hear people talk about it, and you generally get nervous every year you get closer to it. But now you're here, you just need to relax. Number one, half the things you hear about high school are not true. And number two, everyone's in the same boat. Everyone you see on your first day of high school in your year is scared and anxious and worried as just as much as you are. They just pretend they're not, but they are, okay? If you're not shitting yourself, then you're obviously one of the people that can just breeze through life. I hate you okay the second thing you need to remember to survive high school on your first day of course is to keep a happy face probably the last thing you want to be doing right now is I don't think I did any of that on my first day of high school but I wish I did everybody who sees you on this first day of high school knows that you have no idea what you're doing you have no idea where you are you don't have to look as if you don't know what you're doing just look happy, be smiley, and everyone will remember you for that smiley girl. And they'd want to make friends with you because you're happy and you look welcoming. And new friends means you can get used to high school and be happier quicker. If you saw two people stood in a corridor, one like this, and one like this, who would you want to make friends with? In my opinion, I like this girl over here because that person over there looks constipated. Keep a happy face, be happy, go into that school and be like, I am ready for education. That was false, nobody's ready for education. The third thing you're going to need to remember on the first day of school is to bring everything asked. Now like I said, every school is different. High school in America is different to high school in England. You're gonna probably gonna be asked to bring different things and I can't speak for every school that wants things specifically for you to bring in. However, when you enter high school, they usually will give you a letter and a list of all the things you need. Maybe your specific teacher has given you a list or maybe just the school in general has said you need these on your first day of school. Please read it and please bring all the things. Maybe don't go over the top and bring like everything because there's always that typical first day student that brings a huge bag on their back and they're like I'm ready miss be prepared basically you don't want to be on the bad side of your teachers on the first day of school I'm not saying be a teacher's pet I'm just saying don't be a teacher's pain in the ass you won't have the embarrassment of saying miss I've forgotten a pen can you imagine that on your first day not fun the fourth top tip of high school is to bring gum this may sound silly some of you may not even like gum some of you may not even be able to have gum 
I hate having braces too. I'm sorry about that. I still eat gum. I'm a rebel. Just bring something which you know everyone will love. You know when you take out a bit of gum from your bag and then everyone suddenly wants to be your friend? Yeah, instant friends! This may sound like I'm actually taking the piss, but I do generally know someone that did this on my sister and they're like best friends, still, to this day. Now that's pretty cool. I know you're not allowed gum in high school, okay? Do it at break or lunch if you have to. Would you like some gum? Would you like some gum? Yeah, I would. Oh, thank you. Just try it. Let me know how it goes. The fifth top tip to make sure you follow is don't hesitate. Break and lunch always used to be the worst things for me when I was in high school. It was always that time where nobody really knows each other. Some people are in friendship groups, some people aren't. I was the person that didn't have a friendship group because when I entered high school, my friendship group decided to leave me and just, just stop being friends with me, which was fun. So lunch to me was basically... I like turtles. So don't hesitate like I did, and I eventually had to do this top tip in college when I had no friends because I was in a whole new place. But I wish I did it in high school, and that was not to hesitate to ask people to sit with. Literally go up to whoever looks the friendliest in that room and say, do you mind if I sit with you guys? If you look at the generally nice, friendly looking people, they will probably say yes. I don't know about you, but it's easy to spot someone who's more likely to say yes to sit next to you than people who aren't. And just ask and ask and ask that every single lunchtime, as long as it takes for you to make a solid friendship group which will want to have you. Remember that people don't know each other yet, and they will understand if you don't know anyone yet, because it's the first day of school. Yay! Top tip number six is don't make forgotten what the top tip was, is to make a goal. The goal of this. Chances are you get put in a set seating every time you have a new lesson. So every time you get a new lesson and a new teacher, sorry, don't leave your phone on in lesson. That's naughty. Every time there's a new lesson, a new teacher, she'd probably put you in a new seating plan and you'd have to sit next to new people and there'd just be so many new people, you'd be so overwhelmed and every lesson would be just different. So make it your goal to make one friend every single lesson. In science, make a friend, okay? You don't have to be best friends, you can just say, I like your coloured pencils. That counts as friends, okay? In my eyes it does anyway. <laughs> I spent all my four years at high school telling people that I liked their coloured pencils. English, go make a friend, go tell someone that they have cool hair or Oh my god, you've got a Big Bang Theory pencil case, I love Big Bang Theory And then when you have like at least one person who you'll sit next to as a friend in each lesson High school won't be such a drag and you will be happy and friendly and bum chummy with everyone you come across in your lessons <laughs> You don't have to have a friend everywhere in the high school, but just try to jump at every possibility, basically. Top tip number seven is be prepared. And I don't mean mentally by watching this video, and I don't mean by stationary either. I mean for the icebreakers that your teachers are about to put you through. Icebreakers are hell. They're basically activities which your teachers put you through so that you can get to know other people in your class, which is very helpful and everything, but it's also very scary on the first day of school. The teachers know that you don't like it, but they make you do it anyway because it's helpful and me, 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 me. Now, icebreakers are usually the things where the teacher says to you, right class, I'm gonna go around the classroom and you're all going to say three things about you. Go. Now that's very daunting when she's just suddenly, oh, I just whacked myself in the face. Now that's very daunting when she suddenly just told you to say all this stuff about your life when you're so nervous and you're like, oh my god, uh, uh, what do I like? Uh, I like, I like, I like cheese. Okay, calm down. Instead, be prepared. Think of five significant things about you and semi-interesting things about you before you enter the school. Because you know that's going to happen and I knew that was going to happen and it did happen and I was ready. I was ready to tell them I had a pet rabbit called Freckles and she's awesome. So then you can be like this instead. Hi, my name's Ellie. My favourite colour is pot pink. I love Big Bang Theory. I have a pet rabbit called Freckles and she's amazing. I have two sisters. I make YouTube videos. I only ask for one thing, dear. Shut up. Number eight. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> don't fall for clicks. Clicks, clicks, such an awful word. I really don't like clicks and I hate when people refer to other people as the popular people. <sighs> There's people that have more friends with other people because they just get along with more people or because they're complete assholes and they don't like talking to people that don't have a lot of friends because oh, I just want to kick them in the groin. 
but don't fall for clicks. If you fall in a friendship group which you're happy with and comfortable with and you're all happy do lally, then bingo! However, if not, and there's a friendship group which are assholes and the bullies and the big lot who think they're the big shot, that rhymes, I'm a poet and I didn't even know I was. That's cool, you don't like them, they might not like you, back away, turn away, keep away, move away, don't bother them and they won't bother you. It is as simple as that. I know sometimes it isn't, but in my case, I've never been bullied over my whole entire lifetime, thank God. And that's because I didn't bother anyone and they didn't want to bother me. And that's how it kind of works. It's just one of them things that everyone doesn't get along. Some people are assholes. Just stay away from assholes and you won't ever get touched by an asshole. What? And my last tip is number nine. And I left this tip last because it's probably not as important. But I thought it's pretty important because I know a lot of people would probably want to know this. Do your research. And I don't mean schoolwork research, that would be a bit weird if you started doing schoolwork before you'd even attended school. I mean have a look at the older people who already attend your school. Sounds silly, but have a look at like the things they're wearing, the way they wear it, blah 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 blah. When you enter high school and you're told to wear this and this and this, it's a bit daunting because it's like, I have to wear that? That's so ugly. Or maybe you have to wear your own clothes and so you're like, what type of clothes do I wear? Oh my god, are you allowed to wear skirts? So it's a little bit crazy hearing your strict teachers tell you all this stuff, when really you get to school and you find out you're you're wearing your tie up to your neck, your bag almost coming over your shoulders. Do you know what I mean? The typical like first day kids when they don't really know how the school works yet because they haven't attended yet. So have a look at what everyone else is wearing and kind of just know how your school works fashion wise before you get there. Because I was lucky enough to be able to do that because my school was right by my house. So I kind of like had a look at all the school girls going past. Because to me that was very important and some of you may be like, Ellie it's not important, just wear uniform and go to school. But I think it was important. The fashion which the teacher told us to go in and the fashion which everyone actually turned up into was very different. So that was my high school survival guide. I hope it helped you a little bit. I know I didn't go into much detail, but it was mainly the top tips which you should consider. However, if you do have any more questions or you're like, Ellie, you didn't cover a lot of these things, then do let me know them in the comments and I'll make a second part to this video. Please let me know what your first day of school was like, whether that be first school, middle school, high school, and then we can just learn and bounce with each other. Let me know your experiences in the comment box down, down below. <laughs> you can also make sure you follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. All my links to social networks Working sites like that are down there in the description so do make sure you like me on them and also if you did enjoy this video and if you did learn anything from it at all do make sure you give it a like so I know whether to do more advice and guidance videos thank you for watching guys thumbs up the video if you're going to high school before the beginning of next year let me know bye her body on top of him and starts snogging his face off, like eating his inside of his face. There's no sexy monsters in that film, apart from the purple thing with legs like this. He was awesome. <laughs>